Let's take a look at a few of the other features inside a dress book that make it a very, very powerful tool and that you might not intuitively think of. For example, if I select a group, I can edit the distribution list for that. Now, what this is, is you can see I have a group here that has two members. And down here, one member, myself, has two email addresses. I just click here, and the distribution list is changed so that if I were to send email to the group, I would be using this email address rather than that one. If there is not an email address or there's only one, then there's no choice here. And you can change a variety of labels, such as this one. Let's call this other. And what I'll do is, for all of the group members, I'll be changing the label to other for all of them, which I will not do now. I can also, if I have a group that's longer, I can search here for anything. But the most important thing is the ability to select a group and to then choose which email addresses will be used for that group. You do it once and then you can email to the group using mail and the correct email addresses will be used. Now you can also look for duplicates which is very very useful here. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the ability to import and export. A vCard is a standard open architecture for exchanging addresses. Just as ICS is the standard open format for exchanging events, here we have a vCard and it will export in this standard format the group or the selected cards that you have selected inside a dress book. You can then go to another application that supports the vCard format and input the data to them. So the very last thing I'll show you is the ability to send to a distribution list, which is a group, a an email that says something like, here's my new contact information. And I can, of course, change this. And it's going to use the distribution list email addresses that I've selected in editing the distribution list. So we've got a very, very powerful tool here.